Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com SAP Analytics Cloud Analytic Designer course. In this training session, we will discuss about how to add flip charts as part of your analytical app designer. So in our business, the requirement here as part of our scenario is customer would like to see a chart with a comparison between these two profit and old profit. But our bar chart does not give us this capability. So what we wanted to do is whenever user come to this screen and select a particular country, we would like to show a comparison chart. So what I will do is I will create an overlap chart because with the scripting API, it is not possible right now to change the chart type dynamically. So let's create an, another chart on top of existing chart. So we will go back and add a comparison stack chart over here or probably a comparison waterfall chart, which is going to compare my measures. So I will add my measures both profit and the new profit. And of course, as a vertical one, and we will add the dimension as country. And now, of course, I will change my color probably to multicolor. And what I will do is I will exactly place this chart right above the existing chart. And also increase the width. And let me move it down. So this is what we have done actually when it comes to displaying the chart. I will also reposition the chart axis. So what we are going to now do is we will go ahead and initially when application starts, I'm going to hide my chart too. And when users select an item in the table, we are going to also inject our dynamic filter to chart two and make the chart two visible and hide the chart one. So let's achieve that. So first of all, whenever my app starts on initialization event, I'm going to hide my chart too. So let's go to chart two dot set visible equals to false. Now at the next next step, when you select a record in the table, which is on select event of the table, we are also going to inject our dimension filter for chart two. Let's do that. So let's inject it on chart two as well. And right after that, we're going to hide our chart one from the screen. So set visible for chart one equals to false. So now watch out as a result of this, you user is going to experience a seamless charting experience with comparison between the new profit and all profit for the country specific data. Let us go ahead and execute our application as usual. And now initially when our application starts, you can see only my first chart is visible to the user. So user won't even realize that there is any chart of, of such kind. But the moment I select a country in my table, my chart one is going to disappear and my chart two is going to appear with a dynamic dimension data. But right now it's not working. Reason being in our chart two, we have forgot to add my dimension as a country. So let's do that. So come back to our chart two. And we have to also add our dimension as a country. Also at the initialization time, we have hidden our chart too, which we should also make it visible to the end user. So let's come back and make our chart two visible back to the user. Let me add it true and we will save it back. Let's give a try one more time. I will go back and reload. So of course, as initially, my chart one only should be visible to the end user and my chart two should not appear at all. So my app starts and you can see only chart one is visible. I will increase probably the tax amount. And of course, everything would change dynamically depending on our logic. And now, of course, let us go ahead and select a country. For example, I select US. You can see now my chart one got disappeared and my chart two is showing a comparison between these new profit and old profit depending on my selection. Of course, you can change your filter. And this comparison chart would also update accordingly. Depending on the tax rates, you can select another country. 
and system will show you the difference between the new and old profit as a comparison chart between these two different dimensions, uh, these two different measures. So that's how exactly as a workaround we can display two different variety of charts by hiding and unhiding the another one. So with that, it's a wrap on today's session for complete end-to-end -end training on SAP Analytics Cloud with Analytical Designer. Feel free to subscribe our course on anubavtrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.